Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome finally to my football manager beta save and we're going to be Derby County but the first part of football manager 2016 requires us to make a manager now we're obviously going to be ourselves Jordan Gill that is my name in case you didn't know I could put toxic lemon I'm not quite feeling it but Jordan Gill oh my god I'm, I'm quite excited first save of FM16 on YouTube not technically I've played the game before um I'm 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 a youngin. Uh, I can't be as young as I actually am. But oh well. Um, oh, I'm giving you like all my personal details. Please don't. Please don't just take all my bank account stuff. Please, please don't like rob me. For I'm English. I was born in a town called Nottingham. Um, there it is. Uh, or Nanningham, as the Americans might say. I can I do like German basic. Can I do that? Cause I can I can speak the tiniest bit. Can it be like? No, I'd, I'd rather select none because I can't really speak German. I don't want to do a password. Here's the important part. Appearance. Now, what have we got then? Oh, so, so is this like coats and stuff? So that, that's the Fergie. You've got <laughs> you've got a raincoat. All right. I could be a tracksuit manager. I just I do look like I hang around like the backside of Tesco's and hassle old grannies. I don't see what the difference was. And that's just a train. Oh, I'm, I'm a suit guy. Definitely a suit guy. I might go for a big coat, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling the big coat. Oh. Calm down. Don't tell me to calm down, sunshine. Wow, I can be absolutely garish. Hang on a minute. <laughs> oh, it's even worse. I'm cr Could I dress as a pimp? Could I legitimately dress as a pimp? Hang on. Um, white. Sh well, let's go for like. Well, what would a pimp wear? Like, like blue, blue, blue trousers. I do look like I'm a like I'm a I'm a West Ham fan businessman, which <laughs> is a little bit ridiculous. Okay, it's height. I'm. I don't know how tall I am. I'm going to just say 5'11". Weight. Yeah, uh, um, again, I don't know what weight I am. I, let's say, wow, I'm a bit chunky, aren't I? So wait, can I just be like... Can I just be round? Oh my god, I'm getting fatter. Holy crap, you'd be 23 stone. How? What if you're thin? Oh. Oh my god, you got big big waist action going on. The hairstyle. You see, they haven't quite... Um, no, that's a little bit too puffy for me. Um, that's, that's a little bit clipping issues there. I mean, I'm not bold. I'm definitely not bold. I thought maybe, like, you know, I'm definitely not that either. Hair colour. You know, that's, that, that's, that's kind of a bit too dark, really. That, that'll do. Favourite team. DCFC, the team for me. Da, 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 da. I'm going to have Ilkeston as well, because I watch Ilkeston Town play every now and again. If they're even, are they even a team in the game? I think they are. You know, regional premiers division. Uh, Ilkeston. One day I'll do an Ilkeston Town save. That's gonna happen. All right. I tell you now. Preferred formation has to be four. Oh, all right. Let me just let me just select from here. Where's four two three one? Uh, wide is the wide one. Yes. Look at that beauty. Um, I really don't care about them. Social networks. I I'm I'm on them. Twitter and well, I'm on Twitter really. So and Twitch. I'm on Twitch. So. Go, go on there. I haven't connected them up because I don't want to spam people. But you should go watch me and follow there. Link in the description. Look at that. Did my promos. Now, let's get on to managing the team. Let's select based on Derby. Um, and let me do my attributes. And I'll show you what I've done at the end. I just want to quickly point out. It's the little changes that I that I like, honestly. Like, the you know, how it, before it used to be a click system. And now it's got the bar and you can just drag it along. And, and just click where you want. That's so much simpler. Such nicer. It's just it's it's a minor detail that I think not many people will pick up on. But it's just it it's such it's the little things that make big differences really. Um, in a game like Football Manager, so I'm absolutely, um, uh, I'm 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 loving it so far. I'm loving just these little things. 
there we go. Beautiful stuff. That's what we're going to roll with. It's just a bit mixed, and it, it doesn't really make too much of a difference. Um, although the coaching attributes will actually save on the wage bill, which might not be a problem when we become a bigger club, but, but you know, we're in the championship, don't have the, the biggest um, coaching staff, you know, the biggest, you know, backroom staff. Um, it, it, it certainly could be uh, quite good. Let's start playing. Let's get into the game. I'm going to um, show you when we've done a tactic based on Derby. So let's quickly get a save going. So this is what I've sort of, I'm looking at. I'm playing a similar formation to what Derby would in real life with this 4-1-2-2-1 uh, or four one four one as you may know it. Um and um actually that's that's incorrect. Let me quickly change that it needs to be a wing back attack, which means that no Warnock is still better. Um so what I've gone for then is Scott Carson goal on as just a goalkeeper. Um we're gonna have two high pushing fullbacks. We're gonna hopefully um push forward, provide some support. I've got my uh, to to balance with that I've got my wingers on attack who are gonna, you know, push in Try and score goals themselves. Scott Tomins, Andy Vyman, both, you know, good for goals. Uh, Chris Martin is a target man support. Hopefully he can link up with the wingers, um, you know, retain the ball from the midfield, um, hold it up, play it off to the wingers. Hopefully they can get a shot away. That's kind of the plan. Um, so I'm not really looking at Chris Martin to be the main source of goals in this in this system. Um, I've not sorted out my uh, mentality and stuff yet. I will sort that out in a minute. I've just completely forgot about it. I just thought I'd talk about the player roles that I'm going to do. Um, I've got Bradley Johnson sitting in the hole because he's actually got some very good defensive stats on this game. Um, you know, 14 tackling. George Fawn has got better, but George Fawn has better passing. Um, and I feel that although Bradley Johnson's got a good work rate and he may be good in the box to box or that I've got in midfield, um, I feel that George Fawn has an equally, you know, good work rate. He has be much better passing and much, be much, be much better passer of the ball. Um, whereas Bradley Johnson is actually just a little bit more suited to sit deep. He's a little bit stronger and, a, you know, a little bit more defensively minded than George Fawn, which allows him a little bit of creative freedom and he can go forward and score goals, George Fawn. So, um, and then him alongside Jeff Hendrick. I'm going to quickly, I might run through this now. I mean, the way I want to play, um, it's going to be attacking football. Got to bring a, a nice bit, a, a bit fluidity as well. Um, I want players to be able to, to, to help out. This is a new screen. I really like the look of this, but at the same time, my brain's going, what the family is going on? Um, so the tempo, you know, probably just normal. We won't take a breather. Time wasting. Uh, that's all that stuff happens. Um, we want to play fairly wide, I feel. Um, don't always hug the touchline. Um, but at the same time, try and exploit out wide. I feel that's that's sort of the way I want to do it. Um, we'll, 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 play, we'll play with, a, with maybe a slightly deeper line. But then at the same time, maybe we want to high press due to the way our fullbacks are pushing forward. Um, and the fact that we're hoping that the, the ball-winning midfielder slot's going to sort of, you know, fall into a back a back three, really. So we'll sit with a normal a normal line, or maybe even slightly higher, depending on it, if we are getting, if there is too much of a gap between the midfield and the defence. Um, closing down, we want to close down more. Um, we want to make it so we are trying to get in the faces, which, which could leave to pockets of space opening up. But if we execute the game plan perfectly, then we shouldn't uh, have too much of a problem. Um, normally, I'd do, uh, explore, you know... Um, Blair exploit the flanks, but that's not looking the looking too possible. So we'll try playing out of defence, which allows us to go sort of each ways. Um, and we'll try, we'll definitely retain possession and with a mixed range of passes. Um, on the attack, what are we going to look for? Look for overlap from the full backs. Um, that very much could be possible. So we're going to look for full. We're going to look for, um, as I said, look look for the overlap. Um, dribbling, I'm not too stuffed about. I think that will do got five instructions i don't like to play it too much um and i'm pretty happy with the way that's looking so we're going to do some friendlies do some transfers and i'll let you know if anything important happens these are our season's expectations and that is how to piss off your players oh dear i told them that we could reach the playoffs and they were like no we should win the playoffs i was like let's win the playoffs and they were like uh, but you just said make the playoff you didn't say we have to win them and now they're all a bit angry at me um I mean, not these lads. These lads are actually going to get picked, but you, naughty Simon Dawkins and naughty Alex Pierce, you're a newbie. You should not be arguing with your new manager. Fresh out of a meeting with Mel Morris, the chairman, I have uh, managed to weasel the transfer percentage a little bit higher. I say weasel. I mean, I've just I've raised it. I mean, I was going to say weaseled my way higher, but it's like, what am I doing? Um, But... You know, got it a little bit higher, which which really means you know if we're gonna make money, um, well we gotta make money to 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 spend it really. You know, we're we're in a position where we've already spent a lot of money this season. You know, keep that in your mind, even though I've technically not spent it. So a few players will leave, like uh, Bucko, who's um good centre back, but he's just so far down the pecking order that I really don't see him being uh, needed at the club. 
you know, so he's on the transfer list um, as well as you know players like Simon Dawkins, who are decent players. Don't get me wrong, but they're just not quite um, the level that that will need. I've been looking at the loan list and a couple of players I've been looking at. Um, Zakaria Libyad, uh, I've got a scout report on. He looks like he could be a good player with good crossing attributes, um, decent pace from what I can see, good technique as well, which well, is what I'd look for, the, Moroc the Moroccan youngster. Yep, and uh, another one was uh, Chavis Mavrias from Sunderland. Not sure about this lad. I need to see what his stats actually are, you know, when I when when uh, the report comes back to me. Uh, but we're definitely looking for a left winger um, or, or a backup winger anyway, um, just in case. Um, we have got Johnny Russell and Simon Dawkins, to be fair, if he doesn't go. Um, but Johnny Russell's classed as a striker, um, which I, I guess, but I'd see him, you know, probably out on the wing. Um but you know which can play quite well but you know maybe just one more just for cover is what we're looking for well this game knows me all too well <laughs> it's offered me Lars Christopher Vilsvik one of my favorite uh players in uh, the previous football managers to sign in the championship he's a very very good right back but unfortunately this year normally I would sign him because the game doesn't rate Cyrus Christie or at least FM15 didn't but this year Cyrus Christie actually looks quite a decent player um he looks good enough at least anyways you know he's quick he's a very good he's a very physical player he's you know physically fit um but you know marking's good his tackling's pretty good as well um his heading's not bad but i doubt he's gonna be dealing with much i mean going forward is really as well 14 crossing could be a, a, a tricky customer um when when it when, in, when attacking we are used you know wanting our fullbacks to overlap so uh, unfortunately vilsvik you will not be joining Derby County this year you know maybe on another save when I need a right back for 190k you're gonna be a steal a little bit of news then I'm signing a new scout um Joe McLaughlin's going he's actually a coach but we've convinced him to be a scout because he's pretty interested in the job got very good uh you know potential ability um and um judging judging ability and judging, judging potential not potential ability um and he, lo he looks pretty good I mean obviously he would be a decent well he wouldn't really be a decent coach to be honest I mean he's got one 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 what may be tactical but you know, it looks like he could be good. He um, was a scout at Bolton for a while, but he's now joining us. And I think it'll be a, a good addition because we were. Um, I looked at the scout, uh, the amount of scouts we have, and we're very, very low. And we're, we're near the worst in the Sky Championship in terms of, um, you know, being able to judge you know, ability and potential. So I thought get someone in who's a, a little bit better can, you know, just improve the quality of players that we're looking at, improve, you know, the... The the um, the time it would take to get the actual attributes of players. Also approaching a physio that's not gone through yet. Um, but we've only got one physio. I thought I'll make it two. Make make the job easier so it's not just Neil Sullivan on his own. Um, and then also again we're quite low in terms of um our, our quality of physiotherapy, um compared to other teams in the championship. So this is a really useful thing um for seeing how you know you know for for, for comparing um against other teams and seeing how you're doing so it's a really good uh, indicator of, of how well you're actually doing in terms of scouting and stuff so pretty damn pleased with that addition so thank you mr miles jacobson good good job you're doing you're, you're done good you're done good what i failed to realize is my physios already worked at derby i was the physio while nigel clough was in charge welcome back matt how you doing now this is a very nice screen. The headline screen's been uh, revamped because it used to be, you know, just a stack of weird colours. Um, but yeah, this looks very, very nice. You've got the the, the leagues, you know, um, to look at here. Manager watch, the trans activity, and then the stories here that go down. Uh, and this is really cool because um, I don't know if this is all relevant to just this in particular story, but um, you know, it shows you that you know Cardiff have signed Gary Taylor Fletcher on a free transfer, um, and then also that they are they are selling Joe Mason. So I don't know if that's like you know um, relevant stories, you know, because that's also Cardiff as well. So maybe that top bit's all relevant. I'm not quite sure how that works. I have to have another look once some more stories happen. But it's a really cool way of you know digesting information. Obviously, former player John Eustace uh, gone to Sheffield Wednesday. But yeah, real real big fan of this. This looks really nice. It does look like someone's poured a load of garden peas on our screen right now. Anyway, guys, I'm actually going to end the video here because I've actually, I looking back at the footage I've recorded, I've, I go on, I really go on a, a lot. So um, this is going to be this episode done, uh, and I'm going to have an episode later out today. I promise you, we're gonna have a video later today uh, when we start the season against Bolton, and it's gonna be fantastic. And I'll run you through what we do since then, and that'll be things like corner routine, um, you know, new signings, which I don't think there'll actually be many. Um, thinking about it, maybe one loan signing is really all we can sort of bring in, uh, and then we get on straight into the action. Bolton away, first game of the season next time coming soon.